Hi everyone, Nalza here and it's time to get cooking at Cook, Serve, Delicious. Going to press enter 2 to begin, click on my save and let's get rocking. Hope everyone out there is doing good. Me, how am I doing? I am doing fine. I'm doing fine. We'll talk about how I'm doing in a second. Let's get the menu in order first of all. Now do I have a date tonight? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's have a look at her mail. Uh, Haley wants to date. We did this already, right? Oh gosh, I should have remembered. I completely have forgotten whether or not we have a date tonight. Um, how do you tell? How do you tell? I don't know. I don't know if we have a date tonight. Oh no, we're going to have to keep the fries on the menu just in case. Ah no. Ah no. No, wait, because I would have taken the fries off the menu, right? Because I would have taken these other things off the menu. So I don't think we need the fries today. I don't think we've got a date. So let's add some stuff to the menu. Let's put on the, not the lobsterinos, let's put on the fish. We'll make the fish the special. And we can also put on, we could put the soup on. Burgers I'd like to put on, but they're rotted. And we can maybe buy another food. Let's have a look at what foods we have. No, no, let's just start a normal day here. Let's put the soup on. Maybe a mistake. Uh, steak. No, let's put the coffee on. It's been a while for the coffee. And um, I think that's enough. That's enough. Let's start a new day with that menu. I'm happy with that menu. Yeah, active menu. I'm happy with this. It's going to be an interesting day today. So I hope everyone out there is doing good. I'm doing okay. Um, I've got a little bit of a sore back. But otherwise, I'm pretty good. I uh, have been not up to much today, I'll be honest with you. I haven't been up for long. I woke up at four. Let's just get out of the way. That's where they got. Bang, bang, bang. We're done. I uh, went to bed quite late. What was I doing last night? Coffee with three sugars. One, two, three. I was talking on Vent. Which, uh, for those of you who don't use it, is a chat application uh, called Ventrilo, which me and uh, all the Yogscast use uh, for our leisure, you know, when we want to talk to each other and stuff and chat. Uh, I was talking to Rivian and Xylos quite late last night, and we were just up quite late having, like, chats and um, two sugars and playing games. And I used a thing called, uh, well, you've probably, might, you might have heard of it before, it's called Steam Roulette. I bloody love Steam Roulette, and I completely forgot about it. And I was so bored. And I was telling Zylus, I'm like, I'm so bored, Zylus, what should I do? And he was like, why don't you steam roulette uh, a game? So I did. And then he changed his mind, PSMCR, PSVCR, PSCR, and said I should play Heart of the Swarm because I had no game to play. But I did the roulette and it came up with Trauma. So I played um, the game Trauma last night, completed it. It was very good, actually. I thought it was all right. And then I steam roulette it again. And I was playing uh, Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet, which... I um, was playing up until like half five or something. Uh, I'm almost finished, I believe. It was actually quite a good game as well. I know, I know Shin did a series on it. Um, personally, I decided not to make videos of those. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, what have we got? Meat, rice, bacon, cheese, and tomatoes. One, two, three. Zucchini. One, two, three. And some onions. Done. Uh, two, four, six. Up, throw, up, throw, sanitize. Wait. Oh, it's not been delivered yet. I was going to say, where's my new trash compactor? Cut season cook four, cut season cook and eight, cut season lemon cook three, and then five. What did I do wrong? PSDR, PSDR, PSDR. I messed up the lasagna some uh, the the thing. Um, uh, that bowtie noodles and cheese on some uh, L one two three. That one two three. Garlic and onions done. Seven uh, four five eight. <laughs> ISPY one two three and beans to cut season cook. Three, cut, season, lemon, cook. Four, cut, season, cook. Six, cut, season, lemon, cook. There you go. I'm actually surprised by how awesome the game was. I'm surprised I didn't try it before. It's a really fun game. And um, it's a very relaxing game. You know, if you just want to chill out and play a game, <laughs> as a game might suggest. If you want to chill out and play a game, your best idea, play a game. Um, so I, I would check that one out. It was quite fun. I'm hopefully going to play more of that tonight. I'll actually come up with an idea. Creamer, one, two, three, four, five. I am thinking about when I'm recording videos, right? What I tend to do, PSMCR, PSVCR, PSCR, is record during the day and then upload at the day. You know, ranch cheese mushrooms. So I like to kind of sit down, wake up, sit down, uh, browse the internet for like an hour to kind of wake up, and then I sit back and record, and then I edit, and then I upload. 
I was thinking instead of that, chicken bow tie noodles, seasoning potatoes, carrots, one, two, three, cabbage, one, two, three. Instead of doing that, what I was thinking about doing is recording at night. So before I go to bed, because right now my sleeping schedule is American. Like I have uh, like an American schedule. Like I go to bed and wake up, like if I lived in America, this would be normal. This would be a normal sleeping pattern, right? So I was thinking, why don't I just take it like the whole hog? Why don't I just act like I would be in America? So instead of going to bed at like the time I'm going to bed and doing nothing about it and waking up and trying to catch up, you know, just, just own it. Uh, flush and then sanitize. One, three, eight, you know, just wait, uh, go to bed with the video pre-recorded the night before or the day before, record at like three or four o'clock in the morning. It'll be interesting. The only person I know who does that, do you want to guess who it is? Do you know who it is? Rivian. Rivian loves uh, to record late at night. He, uh, I haven't seen him doing it for a while now, but he does do it. I never understood it. Uh, PSCR, sorry, lasagna's a bit tricky. I never understood how he could do it because, you know, at night I'm wanting to relax and uh, chill out. But maybe this would be, you know, easier because that's when I'm the most alert. You know, I'm the most alert at three or four in the morning, which is quite funny because that's when I should be chilling out. Uh, ham, botanos, cheese, uh, cabbage, one, two, three, zucchini, one, two, three, garlic is G, onions, oh, three, four, cut, season, cook, five, cut, season, lemon, cook, one, cut, season, cook, three, cut, season, lemon, cook, six, down, flush, and seven is rancid cheese, you got it, uh, serve four, serve two, serve five, serve one, uh, do eight, uh, eight, please, cut, season, cook, serve three, serve one, cut, season, lemon, cook, and then six, PSCR, 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 the old classic, seven ranch cheese bacon's done, three, uh, chicken, meats, rice, USB, Y, one, two, three, done, eight, and serve one and two, and then cut and season, cook, and then four, we're going to do a vinaigrette and a cheese, we're going to do a six, then we're going to do a five, we're going to cut, season, lemon, uh, lemon, cook, uh, one, cut, season, lemon, cook, serve two, three, do seven, up, throw, up, throw, sanitize our hands, we're waiting on the trash compactor, I think that comes tomorrow or the day after, which is going to be very exciting, uh, nice to get our uh, restaurant nice and upgraded, I think we've only got about ten more videos left, actually, uh, in regards to the old uh, cook, serve, delicious, because we're, we're approaching the uh, season, cook, to cut season cook we're approaching the old five stars and when we hit five stars man we are going to be selling out the place here's a question there's supposed to be vips that visit the restaurant sometimes but i haven't seen one now is that a thing for five stars only or is that like a four star snap am i to expect a vip to like come into my restaurant because my restaurant's pretty nice you know uh so that's Ku and then uh y one two three have you noticed i'm not pressing space anymore I realized that that was um, something that I had put into my um, muscle memory. The fact that when I make a soup, I press space to go to the ingredients, which is not required. Uh, so I'm trying to learn to stop doing that because that is a, a wasted a exertion. I don't need to press space to do that. It's completely wasted exertion. So I had two average orders, 81 perfect. In all honesty, I'm very happy with that. I think I did very well today. Let's have a look. We've got uh, four days to complete. Four out of five for the 25 perfect combo. We'll get that tomorrow, hopefully. Pass for safety inspections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Uh, silver ticket. Fine, fine. Weather alert. Yeah, yeah. Menu rot. Sure thing. Haley wants another date. Your glow is like that of an oil on the delicious fries you've served me. And I'd like another date. Today, if possible. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, Haley. Fries are on the menu just for you. Uh, let's put that on right now, actually, before we forget. Uh, fries. There we go. Right, and we had another email. Great job on the food, everyone. Just had some lunch. We'll get some dinner and plan on eating there in the morning, too. Hope it's not too fattening. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. Um, what should we do now? What should we do? Let's have a look at the bets. Someone asked me to take a quick look at the bets because I don't really do them. And um, it might be a bit of fun to have a look. So let's have a look at the bets. Okay. Um... Now, the reason I don't do these is because some of them I don't like. Well, first of all, we can't put lasagna on because that's rotted. Sorry. Um, fish, could, could have done that. The chicken, I don't like chicken. I don't like it. And um, the pasta, I actually don't mind pasta. If it hadn't been for the rotted lasagna, I think I might have actually done this. Um, but, uh, yeah, rotted lasagna is not a good 
uh, thing to have on a four-star restaurant menu. So let's have a look at our menu, in fact. We'll remove that from the special. We should put something else on the special. Burgers. Yeah, yeah, burger menu. Uh, I like that. We'll have that, and we could get rid of the fish and put on lobsters. And do you know what? Actually, I, uh, I prefer the fish over the lobsters. Um, the soup was not too bad. I made one soup error, I believe. Um, I like the coffee. I do like the coffee being there. I really don't like the wine. The wine is hard. The wine is tough. So I'm going to keep the menu like this. 63% buzz. Let's have a look at our daily buzz. What are we missing out on? I guess munchies. Two foods that are smelly and two foods that are considered snack foods. But we need to have the fries. I guess the fries and the burgers are the snack foods. What are the smelly foods? The fish and the... What's the other smelly food? Uh, detractors. The fries. All right, the oil from the fries. Well, we're going to have to go with this because we've got a date to date and there's an achievement to date all the people from the application. So yeah, that's what I'm up to uh, today. Record the old vid and then probably going to play Cream of Sugar Sugar Sugar. Uh, some Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet. Uh, what else have I been doing? Oh, I watched... I watched a movie the other day. I watched a really good movie. So I've got, I've, I've talked about my spreadsheet and all my movie spreadsheets. I watched another one from the old spreadsheet. I'm trying to get through one or two every couple of days now. And uh, the movie was, uh, uh, I thought I hair in my mouth, Linden hair. Um, pro honestly, problem my own hair. I've got too many, too many hairs on that old head of mine. Uh, BLT. Um, it was called Lifeboat. It's an Alfred Hitchcock movie, and it's, as the title might suggest, set on a lifeboat. Uh, um, an American ship has just been torpedoed by the Nazis. Uh, it's an old, old movie, 1940s. Now, keep in mind um, that these aren't spoilers. These are just, like, basic synopsis that you learn within the first couple of seconds of the movie, okay? So, I'm not spoiling anything for you here. So, yeah, it's all about these people on a lifeboat. Now, the reason it was on my spreadsheet was it was a great example of a movie that's set in one location. So, you'll remember that I recommended the movie It's a Disaster, which is set in one house. So, it's the same, along the same line, uh, this movie is set within the lifeboat, the entire movie, which is very interesting and the movie was very good well it's a hitchcock movie so you know it's bound to be good most hitchcock movies are meat 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 bacon cheese and it does not disappoint so i would thoroughly recommend that one it's actually uh, chicken and pickles it's on um itunes meat meat bacon bacon cheese that's where i got it i couldn't find it on netflix so mush uh regret mushrooms greens fine five so i would check it out there if you're interested uh but if not then uh, you might miss out, to be honest. It's a it's a good example. Uh, chicken and meat. It's not my favourite uh, Hitchcock, I will say that. Bacon. Okay, I'm in a bit of a problem here. Uh, meat, meat. Five. Uh, be uh, blocked. Fine. Right, uh, it's not my favourite Hitchcock. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's Nancy's favourite Hitchcock movie? Do you want to take a guess before I answer? Take a guess. Pick an, pick an answer. I'll give you a couple seconds here while I do it. While I catch up in all these dishes. And do that. Down a flush. And then four. Uh, meat, meat, bacon, pickles. So seven and eight. Do six. Cut. Season lemon. Cook three. Uh, ISPY. One, two, three. And beans. Done. One. Uh, one sweet potato fries with sea salt. Okay. Is E. Place E. Done. Six. Four. Uh, vinaigrette, mushrooms, greens. Fine. Five. Got an answer? Sorry. I took, I took a bit of time there. I had a lot of things to get through. Uh, KMI. H P C Y one two three and garlic is G. I always forget what the garlic is. So the answer to my favourite Hitchcock movie is there's a cheese, uh, bacon's onions and greens. It is rope. That's my favourite Hitchcock. Now I know a lot of you might see uh, like Vertigo or like The Birds or you know North by Northwest. Those are pretty classic. Rear Window. Those are pretty classic Alfred Hitchcock's meat cheese, Swiss cheese. But I feel that those are the most easily digestible um, Hitchcock movies. I believe that Hitch Alfred Hitchcock's best movie is Rope. Now I think a lot of you out there won't have seen Rope. And that is again because it wasn't as big of a blockbuster as the ones I just aforementioned. Uh, but it is a fantastic movie. So the movie stars James Stewart with Sugar. Okay. James Stewart, Jimmy Stewart, we all know Jimmy Stewart, right? Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. And Harvey. Harvey, fantastic movie. And um, he's in it. And it's about a murder. Meat, lettuce, bacon, cheese, tomatoes and pickles. Again, this is stuff you find out within the first three seconds of the movie. Uh, coffee, cream, one, two, three. And seasoned potatoes. I just put, did I put potatoes in there? That's what I'm doing wrong with that. Ah... 
That's the one I got wrong. I put potatoes in there because I'm so used to broccoli. Oh, um, that, that, that. I had potatoes in there again. <laughs> Tomatoes for everyone. Uh, so it's about um, a murder. These guys kill a person and then they stuff his body in a box, uh, a crate. Uh, salt that's uh, in front of a dinner party and then they host a dinner party around the body. Now I know what you're thinking that sounds weird and it is weird but it's a Hitchcock movie so you're going to expect weird right? Uh, mushrooms and greens. The interesting part of this movie, ah uh, cut season cook eight, oh I pressed the wrong button there. The interesting part of this movie is that it's all one long shot or it's meant to look like it is. Uh, for cinematographer, uh, cinematographiles out there, is that a real word? I'm not sure. Someone who likes cinematography, you can perhaps see where uh, there are cuts or if there are cuts, but back in the day, this was an amazing movie. And when you watch it, you can find out why. Again, imagine, you remember that scene in Old Boy, Meet 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 Cheese? If you haven't seen Old Boy, you should check it out. Oh boy, and she's never known it. Done seven up throw up throw up throw sanitize. And we're gonna do eight serve so three uh, ISPY one two three E. So old boy has this scene in it where they are having a massive fight, meat, meat, bacon, cheese, onions, and it's really amazing. And the amazing part is that it's all one long shot. This entire movie is set to that premise and it really looks amazing, feels amazing, and is the reason why it's one of my uh ham butter and cheese and cabbage, one, two, three, zucchini, one, two, three. Garlic and onions done, sir. Five, two, cut. Season lemon, cook. One, cut. Season lemon, car. No lemon. Uh, six, uh, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles done. Four, uh, romance my sweetie. Okay, let's do it. I, uh, what's your favorite? Excellent. I did all different, like uh, that one. One, two, three. Well, those dance moves are off the chain. Five, 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 five. Yes. I got one order wrong because I did something wrong in the order, but we got the date right, so that's cool. What was I talking about? I was talking about after Hitchcock. You should check out the uh, movie Rope. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. It's generally uh, chicken meats rice, uh, billion cubes, USB, Y, one, two, three, six. It's generally in collections, but I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Salt and sugar, uh, pea, salt and sugar. I've never seen one where you have to put two things on. That's interesting. Uh, down with one sugar, done, two, four, Meat Patty 5. So if you like to watch movies and you're looking for a recommendation, that's your homework for this video, is to go and check out uh, Lifeboat or Rope or both. They're both uh, fantastic Alfred Hitchcock movies that you might not have heard about before. Um, and I think you will enjoy them. Uh, I would recommend Rope, however, as my uh, favourite one. And uh, Lifeboat just as something you might find very interesting, which is a, it is a good movie. Alright, let's uh, have a look at our mail. We upgraded all the foods, yeah, we did all the days of service, so all we need to do is finish 20, 50 more days, sorry, three inspections and the Iron Cook finale. So there's our click and start has been funded successfully. Uh, thank you so much for funding our project. We have a trash box compactor already working on your garbage outside your tower and will continue to do so for years to come. Thanks, and we know you'll enjoy the lesser workload. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, we've got menu rot, fine, a safety inspection tomorrow, fine. True Foods Reviews Noodle Sticks, okay. Today was a good day for noodle sticks, spicy and noodle sticks, grapefruit, both 49 cents at the Saving Mart. The spicy noodle sticks were fantastic, just the right amount of crunch and spice. The grapefruit noodle sticks confused and angered me. Overall, 9 out of 10 for spicy and 3 out of 10 for grapefruit. <laughs> look at this, this is wonderful. Okay, well thank you for that uh, glowing review there. Uh, let's have a look at our active menu. I want to just get this ready for the next video so I don't have confusion. So fries off the menu, uh, fish off the menu, burgers you can stay, and lobsters you can go uh, on special. And I think we're good. I'm actually quite happy with this menu. And we will probably use this in the next video. Well, thanks for watching. I have been Nazi, you've been fantastic, and I'll catch you next time for more of the same. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. See you later everyone. Bye. This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too who suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you beautiful people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god. Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. 
God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment. I think you want to, but if you don't, well, that's your opinion, I guess.